Here's the story about Bill Graves. Integrity, great common sense. Selflessness, which you don't find in politics very often, and a caring man, just a great person. And then you add all that up together with being a public servant who was always thinking of doing the right thing first, without regard to what it meant to his political career. He deserves the Legacy Award. We have successfully completed uh, another significant step uh, in implementing the creation of an independent public authority to operate uh, the hospital portion of the University of Kansas Medical Center. Without the support of the governor, the legislation creating the hospital authority would never have happened. The hospital was really at its lowest ebb by any objective measure. He immediately was able to see that this was a positive and helped us through that legislative process. There wasn't any doubt in my mind as a lifelong Kansan that we needed to keep the hospital going, it needed to survive and thrive. The question was how to do it. I had a lot of really, really fine people advising me that this was the right direction to go. And I think part of what you do as a governor to be successful is, is have faith in empowering other people to help you with some of those tough decisions. There's political risk that goes along with making change. You make a radical change of this type, you own it. And so if you're afraid of the risk, you will take the easy path, which is the status quo. And Governor Graves did not do that. He took the position that we've got to make a change here. It's not going in the right direction. And so we'll make a bold change. I think the results speak for themselves. The success of the hospital is, is unquestioned, and that has very little to do with me, it has very little to do at this point now with, you know, legislators. It has everything to do with the leadership at the hospital and the, and the leadership in the board over the years since the hospital was spun off. It was exciting times. At the same time we were working to establish the hospital authority, we also established and went through the process to become a level one trauma center, which enabled NASCAR to select Kansas City, Kansas as a track for what is now Kansas Speedway. The partnership between the hospital and the Speedway was just, I don't know that I could have scripted any better what I hope to see, especially for Wyandotte County. That partnership with sort of two of the crown jewels working together is a very rewarding thing and, and something that I'm very proud of. Governor Graves is on our board of directors. We do everything we can on a daily basis to try to repay the commitment that the community has made to us. And since the Speedway has opened, we've got about 5,500 new jobs, billions of dollars of investment in the area. We just opened the new Hollywood Casino on turn two of the track. And I think it's all a testament to the vision that Governor Graves had for what a Speedway and economic development could do with a great public-private partnership. I remember going out to the Speedway for the first Treads and Threads. It was all very exciting. I never would have imagined that we'd be looking back now this many years later and it would have grown to and, and sort of sustained itself. In retrospect, we can look back at the 11 years of Treads and Threads at the Speedway and the $6.4 million it's generated to say, without the support of Governor Graves and the First Lady, would that have really been such a success in that first year? And I think the answer would have to be no. Having a sitting governor put his name and his wife's name, sent a clear message, we're going to make this thing succeed. My goal as governor was not to receive legacy awards. My goal as governor was to make good decisions that benefited the people of Kansas then and for years to come. And so, you know, I rest comfortably at night knowing that this was one of those really good decisions. And the legacy award, I guess, is just, again, the icing on the cake, and I appreciate it immensely.